of gentlemen. Yay. I'm so happy to be alive. <laughs> well, I said live, not alive. Well, you are... So far you're alive, but... You never know what's gonna happen. So this is we're just doing a little sound check before we actually start recap. Where are the others? I don't know if Discord's doing something to like mute other sounds, but I'm not hearing anything. Yeah, I. Ah, uh, we are like pretty low still in, in the stream. Uh, okay, I actually hear myself pretty clear now. Well, not clearly, but what? Uh, what about the rest of you? Do you guys? Um, I think uh, you have to. I think you have to increase your own volumes as well. Uh, the outgoing volume. I thought I was pretty loud already. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, okay. Let me see. Okay. Oh, I know. Uh, the is... Oh, yeah, I'm Max. Uh, the I microphone settings. That. The in uh, the volume, the in-going volume. You gotta max that and increase uh, the outgoing volume a little bit. Turn mine up as well. I think it should be all the way up there. No, no. Yeah, mine's fully up. Yeah, both my volumes are almost maxed up. Yeah, I think uh, everyone on the stream sounds about the same volume. Yeah, but is, is it... Turn it off, because I hate my voice. <laughs> is it okay, or... Uh, or is yeah, it I'd still... say it's fine. Is it still uh, low? I have my headset turned up to 100, and everyone sounds normal. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My headset's different from other people's. Mm, yeah, okay. maybe. Carter, welcome. Daniel, welcome back. Thanks. Uh, as you can see, Carter, I arranged for you to play uh, Athena's character. Yep, I saw that. You should be able to access her token and sheets. So we have everyone here, so who's going to do the recap? Let's see, Carter, Dan, Aris, Cody, so D4. It's going to be Vin. You get to do the recap. That's me. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> okay, so last week we were Yes. Um <clears throat> Oh, we're gonna head north from the city and go to the Silver Lakes. That was our quest given to us by our dragon buddy. He wants us to go retrieve a mushroom that is inside of a cave being taken care of by a group of uh, druidic people, I believe. But before that, in the city, we had to go towards a, uh, like an airport. Yeah, it could. it's a combination of a train station and an airport. 
Yeah. We have to go up a huge tower. We were attacked by gnolls. Dispatched them pretty easily. We executed one of them on the the highest level in front of us. <laughs> Just commoners. And then I threw the body off the, the tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor thing. We were allowed to board the airship. We flew for a few days. Uh, Jin uh, saw Hicks change appearance for a few seconds. That is perfect. On the right over, we were attacked. Some more gnolls and the bugbears. And the captain destroyed a, a goblin. That's where we left off. Also, everyone saw my giant spider. They <laughs> yeah, were, they did. Yeah, he they shot were impressed. Web. Yeah, I shot a bunch of web. Everybody was impressed. They praised me. They said I was the best ever. They uh, designated me the leader, <laughs> and that's where we left off. Wait, I didn't uh, really wait, that wait. did you guys <laughs> really designated him as a leader? <clears throat> well, that's in the recap, so I think it happened. Oh. <laughs> now you are a... Direwolf. Yeah, you're still a direwolf. Yeah, he can be that. You can be that for uh, two hours. So. Oh yeah, you got knocked out of spider form, didn't you? Yeah, I tanked a bunch of damage. <laughs> it took. Oh, Dread. you took it's a lot of damage. And I, I, yeah, I can do. I feel sorry for uh, Hicks, uh, who's still at n <laughs> nine hit points. <laughs> nine HP. <laughs> yeah, and you're down to five. Like, one hit for any of these guys would have actually knocked Straight your country. Straight up knocked yeah. me out. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, Vin, award yourself with uh, DM Inspiration. Yay. <laughs> <Just> enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I never get inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> some people got it, some people don't. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. That's the way it is. Hmm. The way of the dice. Uh, okay, so you, we guys left off with you killing uh, the troops that boarded your ship. Uh, the thing that happens now is that the ship that's hovering over you. Uh, She's uh, actually slowing down and falling behind you. It's not like your ship is uh, increasing speed or anything. She's going, uh, she is like 100 to 150 uh, feet behind you. Uh, it's only the dire wolf that can see it unless you are hanging, uh, checking over the railing. Did they come from above us, though? Uh, yeah, she was hovering above us, uh, above above you first, because that's the way. That's the only reason, the bandits and the bugbears and. Yeah, they dropped from ropes, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the ropes were cut, so you couldn't be able to climb the ropes, and board the other ship. Makes sense. So now they are behind you, uh, but so far. It's only the captain and the direwolf can see the ship. So, okay. unless uh, Orsa and uh, Eris, if you're hanging over the railing, you can actually see behind you. Uh, but if any of you want to roll a perception for me. I'll roll it. Perception, right? I think Orza will. Yeah, per, uh, perception, yes. That's pretty bad. Uh, Vin, you actually see that there's there's a hatch opening in front of, of the bow. And you can actually see what looks to be like a cannon of some sort. I start barking. <laughs> okay, you, you, start, you, start bar you start barking, and uh, but nobody like nobody understands you. Like, what the hell? 
I'm gonna bark and point at the uh, the ballista. Okay, I try to check out. Uh, can I see the ship like from here? Uh, yes, you can actually see it, uh, and uh, your eyes are gonna go like, oh, fuck! <laughs> Is that a cannon? It it has an actual cannon. Uh, yeah, it has an actual cannon. Okay, I I speak to the to our captain to like have like a, do an evasive maneuver or something. Oh yeah, hang on, everyone. So I want everybody to roll dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh, Those shit. are my favorite. Matt, twenty. Let's go. Okay. Okay, Carter and Vim. Well, the first one is um, me is Hex. The, oh. four, the first one, and then the second one is or is that for some reason it's not rolling with her name. Uh, yeah, but you can uh, in the menu uh, below uh, where you type, you can change the name. Oh. Uh. Okay. Where you press send, you can change the name when if you want to roll in her name or in your name. Okay. I have so many character sheets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> well, it's your fault for picking Druid. But I rolled for Druid. Yeah, you did. Uh, okay, so you guys are knocked onto the railing. Uh, he's uh, yeah, going starboard. And the cannonball, you can see the boom, and the cannonball just misses barely. But the ship is uh, reloading, and uh, the captain Driscoll, he's uh, trying to get the ship under control because right. he has to do like a heavy steering, like back and forth. So I want all of you to re-roll your dexterity saving throw. Um, so Hicks rolled a four. Does that have any effect? Uh, yeah, you are like, you, you stumble and you, um, didn't get, you wasn't able to get a grip on, uh, on something to hold on when he's staring. So you, you just fall, uh, roll, uh, tumbling around. <laughs> tumbling around. <laughs> yeah. Do I, do I have, do I have time to operate this thing? Uh, it's, uh, too far away. And since no. he's like Wait, fall me. going like. Back and oh. forth, like it's oh it's impossible for you to aim. Okay, those are all pretty bad. Oh, everybody rolled pretty bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you got a sixteen. Okay. Uh, did, yeah. Well, you rolled twice. Why did you roll twice? Oh, okay. I didn't show the first one. Ah, uh, yeah. So I got a six. Yeah, you got a six. Wow, we all. We're so you, uh, so here. when the ship is going, Barber, uh, the other, in the other direction, he's just staring, back. The other direction, and you, Vin, you accidentally tumble and spinning around and hitting Driscoll. And Driscoll just losing control of the entire ship. Oh no. <laughs> so you are just lying here on top of him. You're just crushing him. <laughs> Jin, you also, you got... Uh, uh, Vin just pushed you into the crossbow. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Oh, I can <laughs> this isn't going really well. Yeah, um, and the Hicks, you just stumble and you actually you hit. A dead man. Uh, yeah, you hit here in this. <laughs> you, you fall over the railing here, and oh, no. and and hitting this side over here. So you just hit your do head. Do I take any damage bad. from this? Uh, yes, you do. So roll <gasps> oh, a d oh, no. roll a d four. You took some damage. Okay. Well, this could kill me, guys. Don't, don't you worry. 
You Oof. only had it was only a D four. <laughs> I only have five HP. <laughs> I have two HP. <laughs> no. I hear this right. I can I can hear like stuff moving and crashing and stuff. Yeah, like, uh, the whole world going ape shit. Yeah, well, you're stuck on, uh, between the crossbow and the wolf right now, so it's like you're trying yeah, to push back. So, roll me a strength check or strength athletics, your choice. Uh, it's the same, I think. Yeah. Well. well Okay. Or you can um, or either um, strength um, athletic, athletic, actually, athletics. athletics or acrobatics. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Okay, so you actually managed to get a grip on the crossbow, but managed to push uh, Vin away from you so you can get free from him, both the crossbow and him. So you can, uh, breathe. I can breathe. <sighs> Perhaps you should get out of an animal. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a thought. <laughs> but if we get attacked on the ship, I won't have any more beach shape. Hmm. Oh, that's that's true. Yeah, you only get two I don't, per short. I rest. think we're being fired at currently. So oh my yeah, that was the second shot. And I'm, gonna so, and I'm gonna start steering the ship with my. Okay. Um, or, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, let's, let's let Tyra steer the ship. Orsa uh, got this body, uh, stumbles over this body, so he she's lying on top of this dead gnoll right now. Oh, and he, no. <laughs> he stinks uh, like shit right now. Orsa's going to say, oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> it's the usual southern accent. Yeah, I, I think a, a gnoll doesn't smell good, and a dead gnoll, uh, I think they gonna smell have to worse. going to take a bath. Uh, yeah. So everyone roll me a third dexterity saving throw. Oh my God. God. <laughs> Neither of us are. None of us are good at these. Uh, I'm not very dexterous. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm rolling. Oh, wow, I rolled natural twenty. Oh, that the second. That... Uh, the second one was Orza. Sorry, I forgot to change it. Yeah, it's get it gets confusing sometimes. I have experience in that. Yeah. That area. I'm okay, so flush. everybody except Hicks succeeded. So you are gonna stumble, gonna roll over here. You don't take any damage because you're just rolling and rolling. Okay. So you... uh, since I'm since I'm up, can I see? Can I see here? Please. Don't uh, roll yeah, you ship. can see the ship and uh, the, uh, the ship missed barely this time. It scratched the scratch the. Uh, the bow of the ship. Uh, uh no. Uh, Cannonball just missed this side. If you look over, you can see there's a tiny bit of mark. Okay. Is it still too far to fire with the ballista? Um... I actually don't know how far you can shoot with a ballista. I have to check that, that out. It's pretty far. Yeah, I think yeah. it is. Uh, but it's against uh, the wind, so. Um, uh, I think it's no, it's wind favored, right? Because we go, we have a speed. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Da -da -da. I've checked it. Uh, uh, Dungeon Master Guide. Do, do, do. Siege Equipment. 255. Okay, Ballista. Uh, yeah, you can attack, but you, it's gonna be with disadvantage because it's uh, more than it has a range of uh, 120 to 480 feet, but beyond 
120, it's going to be with disadvantage. So you can actually try to shoot if you want. Okay. Uh, can I have an action first before I shoot the ballista? Can I, can I do a spell? And that depends on what spell you're going to use and how you're going to uh, use it. I'm, I'm going to I want to use bless. And uh, no, the it has to be a bonus action if you want to use if it's an action to shoot the ballista. Okay, so I'll just sh shoot with a ballista. Yep. So right. roll and so... attack. So you have a plus six. So you have a plus six to hit. So roll a d twenty plus six. Okay. Uh... Uh, you have to roll it twice, also. Roll 2d20 plus 6. Uh, ah, whatever, I'll just do it, like, manually. No. Um, okay, so 2d20. So, oh, that's nice. Uh, so it's 16 plus 6, it's 22. Uh, I would say... Yes, you will hit. So roll yes. me a 3d10. Damn. <laughs> oh fuck, come on. That is terrible damage. Yeah. Oh, can I can I roll the one? No. You cannot. It's not a great weapon. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> Damn it. So, yeah. Uh, the heavy bolt just lands on the deck. It, you don't hit any anything uh, vital. Uh, but the crew do take a little bit of cover when they see the heavy, a massive bolt flying, uh, flying towards you. Uh, towards I'm them. really glad they can't see us just like rolling around on the deck. Uh yeah, well you're well if you seen if you seen like in the movies where you have combat flying combat maneuvers, you're just flying everywhere to just I'm glad the enemy can't see us rolling yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> I said to this guy like we need to do something and we need to get them off our tail. We need to do something, anything. I'm gonna turn the boat around and face it at the yeah. uh, in my wolf. Yeah. Uh, um, Driscoll says, "Get off the railing, wolf." I howl. <laughs> Move <laughs> over. Bonus section. Only I steer the ship. Move over, or I shove you. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, so you don't have uh, so the captain doesn't have time to get control of the ship. So at the fourth uh, fourth shot, the ship gets hit right in the back, and the cannonball just goes through. And uh, as in your wolf form, you can. Uh, since you can actually feel the blast inside the captain's cabin. And you can also feel, guess that everything below deck is like destroyed. So the ship is going down. You can also feel that when you see through here, you can see smoke is coming up. Perhaps we should go put that out. Hank says that. While rolling. <laughs> <laughs> you said there was a fire? Yes. Yeah. Alright, then I think Tyrell will try to run into the captain's cabin to uh, see if there's a fire and put it out. <clears throat> uh, Hex will follow. Um, I'll try to sh shoot again. Wait. So you can see that this... You can see that the wall is opening if you're going down. And the, 
the fire is intense. Oh, goody. Can I, um, can I use frost, um, what is it called? Frostbolt, I think? On the, one of the fires? Ray of Frost. frost. Ray of Frost, thank you. Um, you can actually try to, you can try to extinguish one flame. Okay. Should I roll for it, or...? Yeah, just roll, uh, for, just for the fun of it. 24. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you, that natural is a, 20. Come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what what, 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 four, what six damage. What a waste. Yeah, you don't have to roll damage. Uh, you managed to... Can that hit, like, two of them? Come on. No. You can ah. If you use twin spell, maybe. <laughs> if, you, if you were but a sorcerer. It, it's a... Uh, you managed to extinguish this one. Well, it's a ray. Can he can, can just take two? Uh, no, he out? just you just realized that. Oh, you're oh wait, you're standing there. Sorry, wrong. You managed to extinguish this one. Hell yeah! But the fire is still spreading. <laughs> and the mast has turned fire, uh, turned on fire. Actually, the mast is gone. The mast is is broken. It's Wait, falling off. What? <laughs> yeah, this these things here, they are the masts of the ship where I have sails. Perhaps we should focus on all the masts. That would be bad if they fail. Uh. Well, here's the thing. Captain is screaming, uh, screaming to everyone. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, lads. We are going down. Fuck. Okay, I I stomp the floor or something when I hear that. So okay, so everybody. The mama or something. Uh, okay, so everybody, roll me. If you an athletic, I'm gonna strangle you. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me an athletics. Check uh, to see how you, how how good you can hold on. Ooh, okay. So. Hicks finally doing her job. God damn. Okay, damn Finn. On. How are you gonna? Are you gonna like bite into something or what? Yeah, that's good. I have to. Uh, uh, technically, I have to give you a disadvantage because you're in wolf form. Oh, I got a seven anyway. Uh, yeah. So, you, you are actually panicking. You're uh, running around on the deck looking for something to bite on but and uh, get a grip on, but you can't find anything to actually get a grip on with your big teeth. I slip on the boat. <laughs> so you can actually... I would say that you can actually take lay down and take cover here. Uh, Armin is also gonna roll. He's gonna roll strength. He failed. Ear neck. Also gonna roll. He also failed. So they are they believe that they are secured at uh, on the mast with the ropes that's hanging uh, hanging along the masts. They think they are. Well, who knows? But you're going down in very high speed. So now, everyone, roll me a deck save. Come on, please. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, uh, this check will determine how much uh, damage you guys are going to take. Uh, I'm dead, most likely. <laughs> Probably. 
Yep. Oh, super <laughs> dead. Come on. <sighs> okay. Just have more hit points. I, uh... <laughs> just, just a little higher next time. Uh... Oh my god. You're gonna have to live with this, uh, with that choice you made, right? For a long time. Stupid rolling. Not rolling <laughs> ever again. Uh, yeah, this is so fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are thinking Yeah, fun now. for you. Mm. <laughs> Way everyone's dead. What? Uh, Grindor, Eloria, Irmak, Driscoll is unconscious. Actually, uh, his leg has been pierced though, by by a wood, and uh, yeah, the wolf is lying somewhere on the ship here. Uh, actually, you're lying here. Okay. So I'm gonna check. What's your hit dice, everyone? Give me your hit dice. Um, mine's a D4. No, yours. Mine. Yours a D6. Mine's a D a D10. My hit uh, dice is D4, but that's. Weird. Yeah, you have My a D6. No, it's a, it's a, it's D6. I thought that the I thought it was a D8 for a. Uh... Artifact. I think Druid... No, no, it's this 6 I think it's the same as Wizards. Mm, Mine's yeah. a... In the wolf form, it's a D10. Uh, okay. So, let's see... Hicks. It is a... It and is a D8. And... And Orza is... Uh, D12. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yes, you had a D8. Yeah, you have a D8. D8. I didn't say you're gonna roll. I, I'm gonna roll. I'm so fucked. <laughs> okay, so this is how much damage you are all gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take your hit dice times two minus. Uh, so Hicks, you have a D eight. Uh, so two HP. Uh, so I'm gonna right, roll. So I'm gonna roll two D eight for you and and uh, do a negative two because you uh, some of you actually lands in the water and the sand so it's gonna. Minor. I didn't. <laughs> So, it's gonna start with Hicks first. It was nice knowing you guys. It was fun playing. Cool. Rip it, peace. Well, it's not like you're going to die. It's just you're, you're gonna fall oh, Just, just you wait. How many hit points do you have right now, Hicks? I have two hit HP. Yeah, well, yeah, if you're, you're gonna fall. You don't, as long as it's not 11 hit points, you'll be fine. <laughs> hey, look at that. You take I'm three damage, so, you're, so you are unconscious. You're not dead. You're not dead. Are we sure? <laughs> Did you do the math right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so Orsa has d12, so I'm gonna roll 2d12 minus 2. And she... I have a negative one. She's gonna take sixteen damage. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> um she's still up. <laughs> yep. The wolf uh, had a D eight, right? Uh D ten. A D ten, okay. Uh but I'm not gonna do a negative on you because you land on hard you you land on crates. So I'm gonna plus you. So you will take 13. And let's see... Uh, Ares. You have a d10, right? Yes. So... 2d10 minus 2. 
Oh, you, holy shit. You took eight <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Okay, I'm alive. Cody. I'm alive. Or Tyro, you have a D8, right? Yep. You take zero damage. <laughs> For some reason, yeah. you land well, safely in the water. You you just fuck this. Yeah, you're like jumping out of the big cannon hole in the back. So you like and you just swim ashore. That was fun. Let's do that again. <laughs> okay, so is there a point where I can see the whole uh, records? Uh you can see the records here. This is the record. I, I mean, the whole the general area. I mean, uh, no, actually. This is what's left of the ship. So I'm gonna like move and check everything over these dead bodies. Uh, these are actually two innocent older couple that was enjoying a nice day at the beach. Holy shit, that's grim. Uh, they were actually accidentally hit by debris. Okay. And the captain to the, uh, the so I see, I see Higgs like. The her form dropped, right? Yeah, it did. So I want to take her and. You can't have like, a negative oh, one. Your your HP only. I know. Hits. I just put it there so I can keep track of like. Yeah, what... yeah, yeah. I want to have her like covered so not uh, no one can see her. So like behind this crate or something. And you see no sign of the airship that fired on you. They kind of guessed that when the ship started burning and were falling down, they kind of, uh, they're doomed. So okay, they... so I put here behind the crate. Mm -hmm. uh, and I use lay on hands and expand, uh, let's say, three of lay on hands points on her. I'm alive. And I'm like, wait, put your form back on. <laughs> she's she's gonna have a little bit of a panic look on her face and feel like, <gasps> and then quickly I, change I, back. I, I said before, okay, okay, let's go check on the other guys. Yeah. I'm like, is <clears throat> unconscious. Is anyone else hurt? You can see uh, Arm and the crewmates unconscious, and you, okay. and uh, I... the wolf is like growling that there's someone stuck in beneath the ship. Okay, I, I see this guy like first and I'm going, does he have a pulse? Uh, when I like grab his neck, do I sense a pulse? Um. Uh, this one is dead. He was crushed uh, against the cliff. Fuck! I go to this guy then. Does he have a pulse? No, his neck was broken. I go to this guy. Does he have a pulse? Nope. He's also crushed. And this guy is lying on the floor, right? Hey, Mac, yeah, keep so me out. This guy, I spend one point of healing. Oh, uh, of lay on Lit hands. Time. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, Hicks and Orza are just sitting there, like making sure they're like each other okay. And I think Hicks will um, me? expand no, kitty, 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 to heal. Um, to heal Orza. If I can get my. Uh, Armin uh, is actually unconscious. You can hear, you can yeah. sense a pulse on him. Yeah, I use one point of lay on hands on him. He is stable. Okay, and I'm going to the big bad wolf over here. And I'm like... You have to like climb down. Uh, are you going to heal the wolf or... No, I'm no, no, I'm it. just... Look, uh, mm -hmm. I'm just, lay, I'm just uh, asking what's up. Because he was doing all sorts of shit before, making making noise. I'm trying to pull the captain out of the ship. Okay. Yeah, well, he can see. If you uh, look over, 
Uh, you can actually see over and down. Uh, you can see that uh, the captain is stuck. Uh, you're not sure if he's conscious or not. He's damaged. He, he has uh, debris uh, that's gone through his leg, his right leg. Okay, so I try to pull him out of the water and into the beach. Yeah, yeah, I want you to roll me an acrobatics check. Acrobatics? Uh, or dexterity saving, uh, dex. I want you to, like, because because of the water and the instability of the ship, you have to uh, go down to uh, the other level. Ah, oh, so acrobatics or athletics. Yeah. Okay. Can I help? No. I'm you're I'm in wolf, to help you're, you're in okay. form. That's nice, that's nice. Yeah, you managed to climb down safely, but you kind of feel that you should get out of the ship and crawling up might be a bad idea. Yes. Okay, can I just go like this way, like over from the... Down, well, well uh, you can either go ground. here, either out here or squeeze okay. through here uh, uh, under... I will go... I will go... Um... I'll just like toss toss my arm or like to the beach and go and grab the guy and, and pull him through the water in, into the beach. Yeah, you managed to do that. Okay, that's nice. So put the token right over here. Uh, so I go like, <clears throat> I need to change for a bit and I go. Uh, I go over here and change into my other set of clothes. Uh, I'm going to cast back. Cure Cure back. Back. Mm -hmm. come back. How many spell slots do you have left, Hicks? I ha I have one left. Okay. I'm going to use Cure Wounds on the captain. And I'm going to put actually, my... How injured my... does he look? Yeah, he's my... unconscious. He Yeah, yeah he has a, like a, a debris. Is he still... bleeding? He, oh. oh, yeah. His leg is like okay. turning blue. I'm going to cast Spare the Dying on him instead. Okay. I think Oops, that no. will... If he's you can below actually, zero hit points. You can uh, roll spare, uh, do Spare the Dying, and also you can do a medicine check with uh, advantage to stabilize the wound. I'll do that as well. Where's my 18. 19. Nineteen, nineteen. Yes. So you managed to band, uh, bandage the wound and stop the bleeding, and you feel like the pulse is steady. Uh, he's just, he needs a uh, uh, good amount of rest before we can try to move him. Uh, so okay. So the I, ex I expend uh, three points of lay on hands and heal him. You heal the Driscoll for three points. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I use the remaining three points to heal myself. Okay, so he is going to be conscious for 1d4. Well, if he was healed with um, um, any healing spell, he would be awake. I'm going to rob the dead body. Do I see him? Does, Not yeah, while he's... you're taking care of the captain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't. You actually pay no mind to the druid. You actually focus on the captain, and, you, and the Driscoll just wakes up. Does Orza see him? Yeah. Unless she is uh, tending to the dead, two dead bodies of the civilians. Is she though? I figured. She, I thought she'd be looking around, seeing if there's any. Anything else, but why are you rolling direwolf? Yeah, no direwolf. <clears throat> well, the direwolf has better stuff than that. I rolled for me, but I didn't change it back to me. Uh, okay. Well, do you have the same stats? I have uh, lower stats. The wolf has a plus four, and that was with. I rolled my sheet. I don't know. Uh, okay, you roll for your sheet. Okay, so. Uh, so you are actually looting the body. Who has the high? Uh, how high is Orso's passive perception? 
This is an 11. I have the highest passive. Okay, so she doesn't notice that Vin is doing the old R Ryland thing from an older campaign thing. <laughs> oh. The master thief. And I was a sorcerer then. Yep, the invulnerable okay. sorcerer. Uh, okay, so, so you actually you mm, go look, you're looking through his uh, pockets. You find a small purse containing eight silver pieces and five copper pieces. Hey, eight silver, five copper. I'm rich. You better be at seventy-five golds before this. Uh, okay, so guys, what do you what do you do now? Are you gonna leave the beach or are you gonna try and rest up? Okay, so I I say listen up. Uh, so I saw this part here when I was like here. So did I see like woods or something like that? Uh, you can see like okay, yeah. I see that one. Okay, you see what? Do, do I see him robbing this guy? Um, I would say, uh, roll inside, inside, or uh, uh, perception, uh, roll perception, yes. <laughs> yeah, you definitely, uh, you definitely see him trying to steal Loria's things, and you just. Uh... I go like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'll move up. So, what is your answer, Vin? Finn, what's your answer? Uh, my connection dropped. What was the question? I I uh, saw you, you... you pickpocketing that guy. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm taking the stuff he doesn't need anymore. He's dead. Can't you respect it's a that? She pay some respect. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I look at you and I say, that's a she. Why don't you pay some respect, <laughs> sir? <laughs> I don't know. I saw a generic, uh, like, uh, elf model or whatever. Uh, so, okay. <clears throat> so, phrasing. Um, are you, You're disrespecting the body. She's dead. So if you're in a, in a battle with someone else, you're not going to rob them when they're dead? If they have a, uh, a magical weapon, you're just going to leave it there? She wasn't evil. She didn't try to hurt us. She was trying to help us get to our destination. And you're now pulling this shit. You can argue about that evil. <laughs> Fine. If you don't want me to rob this, this body, I won't rob the body. I won't rob this body. Not in front of you, at least. <laughs> and I stop. Well, I'll make sure I'll be in front of you. Okay, so everyone. <clears throat> everyone is tired. Beat up. We need to, we need to, we need to rest. I think you have, like, a perfect spot. Uh... You can you can actually look around the beach and see if you can find a perfect spot to rest up. You have plenty of wood. You can like use the ship. Okay, so we. Hmm. Would it be better if we use the foliage or things here? Like yeah, you can. You find you find gone. some. Uh, you find cover under some trees and uh, bushes and. There also cover from uh, the wind that comes from the lake, so 
And okay, you're, you're, so... you're, all of you are pretty shaking up already, even you, Vin, even though you didn't take any damage. And also uh, Tyro. You're still <laughs> shaking up. You're actually pretty cold, Tyro, because you've been swimming for almost uh, two miles. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, yeah, we like it. So, everyone, and when I say everyone, I mean everyone, and I look at Vin, we need to make camp in the woods. You're going to make out? Make camp. <laughs> you sound like you're going to make I, out. Yes, I make out. You don't have to make this weird. It's been weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make camp. That's C A M P. What about these bodies? What do you want to do with the bodies? We will bury the bodies as soon as we are in good shape. Okay. I will make a ritual and everything. It will be great. But for now, we have to make camp and make sure we are fine before paying respect to the bodies of the fallen. Does, anyone Does the know? captain or, uh, or the Adrian? Arm, uh, Armin. Armin, Armin, Armin. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, do any of those guys need help standing up? Uh, Driscoll is pretty uh, in, in pretty bad shape. He, he he can walk, but very slowly. He every bone in his body is hurting. Uh, Armin okay. just craw crawls. He I'll has trouble him. standing. With my short stature. Dr Dr Driscoll kind of, kind of need assistant walking because it's going very slowly for him. I said he's like, you're in pretty bad shape. Let me handle this. Okay. I walk up to him and I cast cure wounds. So who who wanna who wanna help Armin? Everyone is sick. Closing okay. in on the, everyone so, is running Driscoll, but no one's paying attention to Armin who's crawling. I cast cure wounds on Armin too. Okay, let's go, Captain. You cast two cure wounds? One on Driscoll and one on Armin. Uh the first one is on Armin, right? Yeah, yeah. That way they stop slowing us down. <laughs> Come on, come. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. And Godoza, you're a strong lady. Help out with the other guy. I would say that Orsa, has, uh, since she was standing over the, ma uh, the male body, she's been uh, digging a hole in the sand. A, a hole big enough for two people. Okay. I will make sure to have a ritual for them too. So Driscoll asks, are we going to stay here tonight? Yeah, obviously. Ugh. Yeah, that's good. Believe me, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of staying in the woods. Me and Armin are in no it. shape when it comes to traveling now. We need to rest. We will rest. It's just around the corner. Come on. Oh, me and over here? Yeah, in the woods. Okay. Down in the bushes. I got you. I hear you. Come on, Armin. Now the around the... <laughs> Now that Jin's around the corner, I'm gonna loot this last body. Fuck yep. you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Would I have seen that? Thanks. Mm, Would you have seen that? No. Uh, well, roll me a perception to see if you can. F uh, there's something wrong with my perception. I'm pretty sure because it says 20 for passive perception. Uh, yeah. That's higher than there's mine. Yeah. What's wrong cool. with that? Yeah, it feels wrong. I think perception is uh, it's your wisdom plus your um, proficiency. If you're... yeah, yeah. Passive wisdom... perception. Passive whisper is. Passive is. It's ten plus your. Yeah, yeah. it's ten plus your uh, 
Yeah, it's a 10. <laughs> well, I don't know why it's so high. Uh, well, I'm making a perception check. Is that right? Well, what's your wisdom, 30? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Where's perception? Oh, my sheet just changed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm checking a sheet to see if there are any. If there's anything wrong with it. Uh, your passive perception modifier is 10. It should be just a zero. Yeah, so that's wrong. Okay. Oh. Yep, now your passive perception is 10. So. <laughs> For some reason, yeah, you, you added there. a 10 on the passive perception modifier in the cogwheel. Perception. Do I see it? I don't. <laughs> Damn it. Wait, Tyro is robbing too? Oh, yeah, I'm the one who started uh, robbing this corpse down here. Damn it. Did I lose my Did mic? Did I lose my mic? I think I lost my mic there for a second. We could hear you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Someone's echoing now. Yeah, someone is echoing. I believe someone pulled their microphone out a little bit. I think Daniel might be having mic trouble. Uh, okay, Tyra, you actually uh, managed to... Put your hands inside the uh, your uh, pockets, and you find a small purse con uh, containing one gold, five silver, and three copper. Sounds good to me. So is so is everybody ready to take a long rest? Yeah, I make a fire and everything. Okay, just let me know where you want it. Yeah, like here. Down below the tree line. Yeah, okay. n n yeah, near the goods, so we can have a nice cover. Okay, so are you using uh, the blankets from the ship? Uh, I if there are dry uh, if there's uh, dry wood, yeah. Otherwise, ah, I'll there are get some, some dry. There, there's still some dry wood, so. You can use yeah. it. Yeah, and there's wood near, so I'll put my everything that's uh, on my equipment that's wet to dry near the fire and everything. Okay, so who is going to take the uh, watches? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'm going to take first watch. Yeah, okay, who's gonna, who's gonna take second? I'll take second. Um, okay. Or so we'll take with the next one if there's a next one. Uh, so there's three watches. So we have Ares, we have Vin. What took you so long, Vin? And <laughs> I come back with the crate and I brought firewood. Yeah, that's that's nice. Mm. Also, Vin, you you find a purse containing uh, fifteen silver pieces and twelve coppers. Ooh! If since you were copper? looting Eloria. Seventeen. Really making a bank there, buddy. You're going to thank me when you need to buy stuff. So, let's cool. see. Eris, Vin, and who's the third? Uh, Orza. Uh, Orza. The, the, na oh, the name is... My name is uh, Jin. Ah, uh, Jin. Uh, yeah. yeah, Jin. Jin, uh, Vin, uh, Jin Vin, and, and Orza. So, Jin, roll me a perception. Perception... Uh, you don't hear anything special. You can just hear 
the waves coming in. You can see, you can hear like the ship is making sounds like it's gonna fall apart. You can't actually. You're you're like focusing on the fire and listening that. Yeah, oh, it's just a ship. It's just a ship. And in my spare time, I dig like uh, some holes in the, in the sand. Right where you're sitting. Uh, no, like like over over there, so I can see the camp still and have a like a good feel. But okay, yeah. Are we taking well, a long rest? Is that what's happening? Yes, now? you're taking a long yeah. rest. That's okay. why I needed the resting order. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Vin, uh, your so your rest is going fine. You can do you're doing your stuff and uh, you're uh, gonna wake up Vin. So Vin, roll me a perception. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Ooh, free of the rage. There we go. Seven. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so you are on edge because you are not. You are, you're like your senses are like getting confused by the water and the ship that's go uh, that's uh, about to break off even more uh, so you have a hard time focusing your your hearing senses on if they uh, on everything else if there's anything coming so you have literally no idea if anyone is spying and looking to attack you or anything Oh, by the way, there it is uh, dark outside now. We can actually see the moon coming out, coming up. It's a very nice half moon. I think what doesn't help my perception is that I'm robbing these bodies. <laughs> they are. Uh, everybody else is sleeping, so no. And uh, these two gentle folks are. They don't have anything. Of value. They had a picnic basket, but it's it was destroyed. Everybody That's won. so sad. Yeah. So I just checked the picnic basket see if there's any, any food left. Uh, the the picnic basket was destroyed, and everything was just buried under the sand. Uh, these are just two elderly couples. They were like in their late seventies. What a waste. What a waste indeed. Two elderly couple just enjoying their time on the beach. They don't, didn't have enough time to escape. You hate to see it happen. You hate to see it happen. Mm. As I pick up a broken glass or a bottle of wine, you hate to see it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. Uh. Well, uh, your night's just going by your you're actually you're on edge while you do this because every time the ship makes a sound you're like uh eh, oh, it was just a ship so your evening is going by quite fine so next one is orza so orza's going to you know, just roll a perception. She's gonna do roll like a me a perception, yes. Um... Oof. She's having a hard time, apparently. <laughs> yeah, she's just keeping an eye out, and uh, she's also quite confused. Uh, she was, let's say, she's like over here or over here sitting on this damaged crate you know, tilting your head back and make sure you guys are asleep and 
you know, she having a nice look over here and she can also see over here uh, tell you what I'm gonna let you do another roll Shit. Oh. yeah it was just half my library of D D books fell into the floor So, you hear a sound coming from the north. Uh, the north. So I want to roll me an investigation. It piques okay. your senses. Roll me an investigation. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> You're like sweet. Uh, you're just uh, shaking a little bit because yeah you're still shaking up from the crash and uh, just who's there oh Who, who's there does Come have out. danger sense though she does have danger sense can, can, yeah can she I has yeah she sense? has danger sense so yes use it i don't want to use it <laughs> i do that uh, you get a kind of sense of when things nearby aren't as they should be, giving you an edge when you dodge away from danger. You have advantage on dexterity saving for us against effects. You can see some traps, games, but you can't be blinded, deaf, and or weak. Yeah, you kind of get the sense that you are being watched. Oh, goody. Well, I should probably go tell people. And she's gonna, she's gonna get up and walk back. <laughs> like, who's still awake? Is everyone still? Is everyone like actually dead asleep? I know Hicks would probably be like wary, but not like fully awake. Well, this must be a, a little bit of shock to Hicks. <laughs> Going through <laughs> all the. Uh, at least Hicks is not flying anymore. This is true. <laughs> um. I'm, just super, gonna walk I'm, I'm super asleep, I think. Mm. Uh, for those who are awake, or just gonna like. I would say that uh, Vin is like half awake. Uh, he was is just Vin... trying to sleep. Is anyone an elf? I'm half of an elf. <laughs> but you don't have trance. Nope. No. Yep. No. Don't have trance. Okay. So we're uh, just uh, like trying to get some sleep, yeah, uh, some shut eye, and you were like wake when Orsa just kicks you in the shoulder. Like, wake up! There's someone wake watching up. us. Wake up! Do I hear this or anything? I'm just like, I'm sleeping in the corner. It's here. your uh, microphone that's uh, doing this nasty sounds. Yeah. She's not like being super quiet about it, so you might hear it. Yeah, just kicks and uh, to, uh, just tell everyone to get ready because something is coming towards you. You got a long one? Uh, the rest, um, I would say that everybody who didn't take a long rest, I'd say, Jean, you, you managed to get, almost get eight hours, so, yes. Yeah, it's almost eight hours. Captain oh, got it. Hicks, you have a full bill of health. Yeah, all nine of my health. So, so you you, re you regain all your hit uh, your spell slots and everything. Uh, only Vin was short rested, I think, right? Uh, Vin uh, didn't have. Vin, your rest isn't completed. <laughs> So you're not going to get your spell slots back. 
Your rest is. Rest. Your rest is on the beach. You're doing a long rest on the beach, not a short rest. Yeah, but he got a short rest, right? You no. He, he got four hours of sleep. Uh, but he's not using. He's a half elf. They don't get trance. Yeah, but doesn't like four hours of sleep. Then you have to do something about your mic because they are. Uh, it's uh, a lot of static when you press the mic and it just get boom, boom when you press it. Uh, doesn't uh, don't four hours of sleep count as like a, a short rest? Mm, a short rest, but you some there are only some that a uh, short rest is like an hour. Uh, so some uh, so you'd has... have his wild shape back at least. Uh, yeah, his, yes, wild, well, his, his wild shapes is back, but uh, his, not his spells. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. Circle. If I think he's a circle of the moon, but. Yeah, uh, if he's not, then he doesn't. Uh, druids need uh, eight hours, so they can. Yeah, yeah, but like, he has the, he has his saying, he has his beasts, wild shapes back. I was just saying he he got the benefits of a sword dress at least. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Well, that's the wild shape is back. Yeah, yeah. So you are being approached. By a knight along with a couple of guards and uh, some veterans and they are like Talking a little louder. Hello? Is there anyone alive? Hello. <clears throat> I move forward for a bit. Uh, I can see he's a knight, right? Uh, let's see, Arist, you don't have dark vision, right? Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I grab like a load from the fire. Uh, go like over here and I wave it. Ah, oh, they can see the campfire, so that's why. Ah, they can see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Who are you people? <clears throat> uh, we were aboard this ship and we we crash landed after being attacked by bandits. Are you hurt? Is any is everybody all right? Everyone is all right. Well, most of us are. Some some people have not did not make it. Yeah, th we have some casualties. Hmm. Tragic. May I ask your name, sir? My name is Ulrich, and I am a knight of the Drumkeep. Watch. Uh, do I recognize the name? I don't think you do. Do you recognize the name of uh, the keep? Yeah, the keep. That, that's what I meant. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you recognize. Uh, you, re you recognize the name from uh, the wizard. Oh. Wait. Uh. uh wait. What? Uh, what was his keep again? Drum keep. Drum keep. Uh, the wizard mentioned it. Yes. Did he? Did he say they were bad? I can't remember. No, the wizard told you that you were gonna uh, go up to the drum keep, and from there you're gonna go to the mountain where mountain ridge where the mushroom. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I say, great, uh, your, that's where we needed to get. Uh, can you um, point us to the way of your keep? Uh, of course. Uh, we were, we heard the big uh, crash. We saw a ship go down 
and we heard the crash and we uh, immediately uh, loaded up and headed this way with a small patrol. We didn't want to alert, uh, alarm anyone uh, anyone uh, that's an enemy to the keep that wants to, tar wants to hurt it so we are just a small group so we don't get do it getting suspicious while we're here and so and also when we get got close uh, I saw your campfire and want to move up to you slowly I didn't want to alarm you I commend your bravery sir uh, but we will... if you if you are able to, if you, everyone is able to move you can uh, take you to the keep where you can uh, get proper rest and uh, uh, some food wow that's very generous of you I appreciate it very much can I make I... a head check on that guy yeah sure what for may I ask to see if he's lying I feel like there's something sketchy about this guy even though I have no idea and there's no reason Nah, <laughs> uh, you see yeah you actually think that he's sincere you actually uh you can you don't feel any hostility from any of the people that's uh, close to you uh, that's uh, coming towards you they don't have any don't they don't have their weapons drawn or anything okay uh, I'm gonna start walking towards them and be like do you have a light or like something that I can use to see I can't quite see in the dark I go well, of course I try to catch up and go in front we have some torches uh I will ask only uh, a moment before we head out. If I may, I need I need to bury the bodies of the fallen. Mm. Also, the time. sun is about to come up because you have done two. Uh, you managed to go through two rats, so the sun is about to go up. So it, the light is a little bit. Uh, better for you though, for those who doesn't have a dark vision oh, okay. but you can cast uh, uh, see if Vin cast light oh, that's helpful did I have anything I thought I had something that was used for, for the light So who are you casting the light on? Who was it? Can you type it in so I can... On me, okay. Um, I guess I'll take out an object so you can actually cast it on it. Um, okay, I'll take so, out a torch that's unlit and use let him cast it on Okay, that. so this is your light now, Hex. You have it on you. Um, okay, so it will only take a moment. I just need to bury the bodies. You can actually control the light. And we will be on our way. Are you okay with that, sir? Uh, excuse me, what do you say? The I was distracted by the light. Uh, I would only need a moment to bury the bodies of oh, the fallen. Of course, of course. Certainly. So, I moved the bodies. I only made some work while I was... Uh, yeah, just point out where you uh, were. Uh, I was in the... Uh, I was guarding, so I just... Where do you want uh, the bodies? Like, where do you want to bury the bodies? Like, like where I feel like the sand is soft and I can dig like right here or something. Yeah, the, this entire beach is soft, so. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. N near there. Like, okay. Whatever. Um, so I say a prayer. I like may the souls of this fallen reach you and. And I want you to welcome them by your side. And I hold my my amulet. And and I 
make a motion to the sky and I put the sand over them and I'm like, okay, we can go now. You know what? For that nice gesture, uh, you can have a GM inspiration. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You have shown so much passion and uh, you want to protect the body's integrity and their spirit. Not letting anyone defile the bodies, even though somebody or s someone or already did. Yep, they sure did. Few, or maybe a few people did. But you're showing very uh, good compassion to uh, Driscoll's crew, uh, crewmates. So yes, you are. You have a DM inspiration. Great. So <clears throat> we we can move on now. Yeah. Okay. So uh, follow us. Uh, we have a few miles to go. Okay. Captain, can you can you walk? Yes, yes, I'm fine. I gotta go dressed, and so does uh, Armin. So we're good. Just lead on. Okay, I will everyone. Take it, I will take you to the continental map. Yay. It's a big map, so it's gonna take a little time to load. So, you crashed around here, in this area. Okay. And you're heading towards here. Towards the drum key. Uh, That's yeah. a long way. Yeah, it's going to take you. You're going to be there around noon. Somewhere there. So the knight says we we're gonna uh, rest along the way, uh, so we don't tire ourselves. But we'll be there around lunchtime. The road is pretty. It's a it's a good road. Are you sure but, we won't be attacked along the way? Uh, this, this road is, uh, very good protected, uh, both, uh, we and, uh, small town to the north helps out, and we also have, uh, an orc stronghold, uh, to, to the west of where we, where we are. Who we all help out uh, protecting this road. Okay, well, so we should be we should be very uh, fine. So, do not Orza worry. Orza's gonna be very cautious, and she's gonna kind of she's gonna keep using her danger sense to see if, she, if anything comes up. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can do it anytime you want. Think so. Yeah, you don't need doesn't to. Say that any restriction. Yeah, cool. Well, you don't say, uh, also doesn't uh, sense any danger at all. Uh, so uh, about after a couple of hours, 
uh, about five six hours you are uh, after let's say when you're about 30 40 minutes away you can see you start to see the keep is it like big or is it like does mm. it like Uh, so, put your tokens around here. Sorry, where? Oh, over there. There's two no. horses. <laughs> wait, I'm gonna do this instead. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna close you guys together. I'm gonna copy paste all of you. Big. They're big. Oh, I need to fix horses. Else. She has 32 health. That's a lot. <laughs> well, she is a barbarian, so yeah. This is true. D12, you know. <laughs> I believe she had a high con modifier as well. Um, yeah, plus three. Yeah, so she had like 15. Wait, should he have? I don't think she should have 32. I think she rolled for it. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna ask her. I think she rolled pretty well. Fifteen. No, she cannot have thirty two. She can get up to thirty. Yeah. Yeah. So she has too too much HP. Ah uh, well, I can we can correct that later. So if you everybody zoom in on the top, on the bottom left corner, mm -hmm. this is where you're coming from. You can hear sound coming from the tower, from uh, this tower. Open up the gate! Patrols coming back! What, with what seems to be survivors! You can see like a uh, small... Uh, openings in the tower here. And yeah. also you can see a small opening uh, in the tower here. Like, okay, there's some arrow for guys to shoot arrows through. Hicks is going to look, vi like, visibly uncomfortable. Like, she's kind of slouching over, sitting a little bit more behind people than usual. Yeah, you're like uh, taking it very cautiously. It's a new place, and 
I believe Hicks is a little bit. She's just wary of new people. Let's yeah. Put it that way. Uh, let's see. And also, the knight uh, says, It's all right, lads. You can lower your defenses. We are back. We found a group of people at the crash site. They need food and beds. Make sure the chef knows. So if you put your tokens here, you can see that there's like an opening inside the keep. Should be able to walk through. The opening here. The veteran uh, that's coming up behind you says, "It's all, it's all right. You'll be safe here. This is a well-guarded keep. It has never been breached." This is the. Uh, where we eat? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's the dining uh, room. Rush over there. You can, when you rush in, you can sen smell. Oh, smell the food that's been made for you. It's oh. God, I'm so hungry. Yeah, you like. You see, you see food for ten people. Twice, uh, almost twice as many as you are. You just eat and eat and eat and eat. Driscoll just comes up and starting eating as well. Armin do the same. Just eating like he's never seen before, uh, food before. So, uh, the knight, Ulrich, he says, well, take your time eating. Uh, we, we are going to prepare some beds for you to rest. Sounds great. Thanks. If you, if there, if you need anything, just, uh, call me or, uh, if you need uh, and if you need food, more food, just ask the chef. Uh, can you show us the general direction of where our chambers are? Mm, yes, you can sleep here and you can sleep in here. I'm just going to tell the guards uh, that that's uh, currently staying there that they have to leave it for you. Uh, leave so you can get some proper rest. Uh, Hicks is, um, well, Orza's gonna, she's gonna speak up and she's gonna be like, is there a room that me and my daughter could stay in? We'd rather not be surrounded by a bunch of men. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Also, is there somewhere we can take a bath? Yeah, I'm covered in gook, says Orsa. Huh, well, hmm. I'm covered in null blood. <laughs> Orsa's gonna look at you and look up and down and see like a few spots, and she's like full front covered. Yeah, it is like a small pond uh, in the backyard. You don't see it on the map, but uh, there is a small pond. Yeah. Uh, in the corner here. A where pond? We, yeah, a small pond where you, uh, it's uh, like a small stream that runs 
under the wall. Think about, uh, I think, uh, Helm's Deep. In oh, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it. Yeah. But it's not like a bar. Uh, a bar uh, so you can just put a bomb there. Uh, so you can't see through. It is just runs under under the, uh, the wall. Yeah. I got it. If you excuse me, I. So these uh, these cards they are. Just make sure you uh, get your room. Uh, the knight says, uh, hmm, for you and your daughter. He's going to like check the noble who is actually in control of this tower. There's a noble running this? Yes. There is like a lord uh, that te is in temporary control. Uh, may I? I have an uh, accord with him. Yeah, sure. She, he's uh, up back in the yard, uh, the yard. But I think he's gonna come here soon. I'm gonna go fetch him for you. Sounds great. So he's gonna go all the way up here, and hearing that, I put I put my set of fine clothes on. And so it's like, make sure my uh, my hair is okay and presentable, and just move back to the other area. <laughs> she sees you, like, Hex is going to see you all dressed up, and, like, she's going to look over and just start fixing her hair a little bit. Like, her hair is kind of crazy, because that's the form for the form she took. So she's, like, pushing it up, and, like, it's actually getting worse somehow. <laughs> she's just like, do I look better? Um, uh, maybe a little more, maybe. Oh, oh yeah, but just maybe you should push it a little bit this way. She flips her most of her hair over the other direction. <laughs> it looks yeah, that's ours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, looking great. <laughs> <laughs> Tyro's gonna say, uh, how does this look? And then he's gonna use Minor Illusion to give himself, like, some crazy, amazing-looking hair. Oh, wow. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do, do uh, a performance some... check to see how the... How the um, Somehow it's worse than a mustache. <laughs> of course you <laughs> look... You, you actually oh, think that you look... Oh, you're stunning. Like, Wow. Yeah, I am pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the duality of man. Uh, okay, so while you're eating, uh, in about after about ten minutes, uh, you do your stuff, doing your uh, illusion, minor illusions, and uh, the noble steps in. I immediately stand up. It says, hello? She's gonna see him stand up and like, she's gonna stand up as well, like, <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> hello? I... First of all, thank you so much for having us in, giving us food, and I... Uh, he's a man, right? Uh, yeah, he's an older man, around 60. 65. Your generosity is immense, and I extend my hand to... His, him to uh, his name is Krulik, and... Uh, and... Uh, the night you saw, uh, he introduced himself as Ulrich, so... Kind of gag, take a guess that they might be relatives. Uh, relatives with, uh, yeah, Krulik and Ulrich. Oh, yeah, they do have the same model. I guess there is a <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Uh, he's from the where in the nation of uh, Breland, right? Or not? Uh, Krulk and Ur, they come uh, from the north, from uh, the northern part of this land. So they are in temporary uh, in uh, they temporary running this keep. Ah, so I don't know them. No, you do not. Okay. Uh, so, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, uh, is the food okay? Yeah, the food was great. Really helped us uh, get uh, we, some energy back. We have made sure you have uh, some good com accommodations. Uh, we, have me uh, we have prepared... For six, we have prepared six beds for you. And uh, a minor request. Uh, tell me if I'm being um, rude, but can we have a room just for the two ladies in the group? Hi. <laughs> She's going to look over like at the most horrid well, of course. look. <laughs> like... Well, of course. Uh, you, can, uh, you can take the room here. Uh, and the rest, and the boys can take the room over here. Just, just uh, go through this door here and take the first door uh, on your left. Pa pass Thanks. the stairs. Thanks. You have a you have a fine keep. Reminds me of, reminds me of home. Uh, we it's are true. very proud of it. It has yeah. withstood many attacks, and the attacks are still coming. Uh, attacks sure. from what type of creatures or organizations? Uh, we are having a big pile of trouble with bugbears in this region. Bugbears? Yeah, they are Were recently... Were we just attacked by those? They are recently taking over a cave where... Uh, and taking a group of people hostages and they have enslaved them that's a shame because we like uh, we like them we used to trade and hang out I see that is that is a problem uh, well you seem to be uh, adventurers um uh, sort of we are here on a mission. We seek this fort for, uh, for, for a mission. You see, we need to get to, to a cave where uh, a specific type of mushroom grows, a black mushroom. Oh, you're in luck, because the thing I was going to ask you to do is to uh, liberate the cave and it seems that you are going to the same cave. Would, like, would, you, would you like to free those people for us? Uh, yeah, they are, of course. They are, very, they are harmless, but they might look strange that these creatures are harmless. But they are of very course. kind. They, they work as fishermen and we... They fish for us and uh, help us get food, and we aid them in protection. But uh, when it comes with the bugbears, we were unprepared. Of course, we we will repay your generosity with the task. Tyro's gonna butt in here. Yeah, we weren't like dead set on going to that cave you know i think we might need a little incentive just saying but like we were supposed to go there right? no 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 it's, no, fine. Oh. it's fine we don't we, we're not sure you know we may go there uh -huh. we may not you should I need a reason to go i i turn to my left and give a glare to tyro uh, what kind Come of uh, it's not the time Excuse me, what kind of <clears throat> conversation were you looking for? 
well, you know, we lost a lot of stuff in that crash, like all of our gold. So, you know, just helping home. us. And a way back home. So just helping us get back on our feet there and getting back home would be great. <coughs> well, of course, we have a couple of horses uh, that we could uh, help you with. We are only have four horses, but we could lend you three. They can take two people, so. Mm -hmm. And know maybe that. you could give us some gold to buy another horse. And <laughs> this is the point where Hick starts glaring yeah, at him, yeah, like, "Come on!" You know, you know, no need for that. That sounds amazing. No, um, I'm the one glaring. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a persuasion. I... Try and see if you can persuade it, the noble. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I, I would that. say you actually made it. Uh, well, mm, you you managed to persuade him, but uh, if he he kind of has to make sure that uh, he gets his horses back or uh, gets new ones. Sure, sure, of course. We'll even give you the horse that we buy with the gold. Right, guys? Um, I'm um, going to see my small dagger come out my of my boot and come up uh, towards you. May I ask, where, where are you going after you have done this mission? Uh... Something just hit it. Oh, um, we will go um, back to the one that gave us the mission. So you're going back to you can you you say that you're going back to Sharn. Oh, oh wait, we. Um, I thought we weren't supposed to disclose like much information. Uh, so it, that's it, why it, it's up to you, guys. It, you, it's up to you. How much information okay. you want to give him? Uh, we will go back to the to the one that gave us the mission. It's it's pretty far from here. I don't know how we're supposed to do that without an airship, but yeah, it's pretty far. It's a pretty long travel. That is, that's true. Do you know any airships that go to Shar? Maybe. Oh, you're you're heading to Shar. Uh, there is yeah, a, just there yeah, is a small town. There is a small town um, on the road south of here that leads that. Uh, goes south to Sharn. Uh, if you pass through there, you can maybe find a, a wagon or maybe a riverboat to travel you down to Sharn. Uh, I see. A riverboat would be more efficient. Um, thank you. They have a connection to a small dock for riverboats. They can take you back to Sharn. And also, if you leave the horses there, uh, I know people that can uh, bring them back to us. You know that? That sounds even better. Uh, thank you. And But you, say, you said you, you lost your gold. So how about... Uh, uh, we are not rich or anything uh, here. But uh, I think I can scramble maybe five gold a piece if you do this. If you take care of the bugbears and free the pe enslaved people. I mean, if you're in a bad position, there's no need for gold. No, oh. no, the man's offering. It's rude to turn it down. But the, the horses are a kind gesture already, and he already gave us food and shelter. Yeah, but we lost all our gold, remember? Wink, wink. Um, the knife goes. And, in the and I just go, oh yeah, I remember I had to do something, and I just uh, everyone do a, do a circle around the table. Everyone, roll me a d twenty plus five. Yeah, d twenty plus five. Everybody roll. Twenty then twenty plus five. Then, whoops. 
Uh, Tyru, you lost 20 gold of your the total amount you got. Oh, God damn it. Hicks, you, rolled f- <laughs> you, you lost 14. Jin oh. r- lost 9. Vin lost 23. Oh, oh, oh. Orsa lost 6. Would I have lost the gold because I was a wolf when we landed? Uh, I have a bag of holding. Would it not have been in there? Your bag of holding is gone. What? <laughs> you lost it in the crash. No! <laughs> Everything you had in it is I only have gone. the money, I think. It's a... Wait. Does that mean I broke? <laughs> that means you lost everything. Yes. That's so stupid. Well, <laughs> <sighs> Re- remember, have... you were like a few hundred feet above the ground, and you were going, you were crashing down in a burning ship, and it was no, going. My... It was in my backpack. Well, well... that means I broke. <laughs> Sorry. My character's getting <laughs> fucked over <laughs> so hard uh, on so many different levels. Well, well, we don't need gold, do we, Hicks? We're fine, aren't we? We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the second thought, you still got, you still have a little bit of money, but all my money. I would have put all my money in that bag. Oh well, too bad. Okay, you're broke. So, do I have my gold or no? <laughs> Uh, when we crashed, I was a wolf, and everything gets sucked up into my form. Uh, okay, yeah, you have your gold still. Yeah, I guess we're fine, guys. We don't need any gold, right? That looks straight at Jin. We don't need any money, do we? Of course we don't. Yes, we do! <laughs> Hicks is, like, realizing that she doesn't have her thing on her, and she's like, I don't have In any In fact, money. I think we should pay this man for letting him... Allow us to eat his food and stay here. Jin, pay the man. I think uh, I think that's fantastic, Jin. You're so yeah, nice, Jin, man. pay the man. I'm going to go to sleep. We'll do this job Sir, in the morning. do you require a payment for your service? No, 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 no. It's not at all. Excuse me, well, that, that's, uh, that room was for the ladies. You sleep over here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry for the Yeah, rudeness. buddy. They're I walk by Jin. I have a shit-eating grin on my face. I'm sorry they're like this all the time. Well, t- make, take a, uh, take a look, as much rest as you need and uh, let us know when you are prepared to leave, uh, go to the cave because you need to stop along the way to get there. For resting as well, so my broke ass. Yeah, yeah. So uh, and I will I let you to... borrow. Uh, you can take the horse. We have four horses, so uh, you can take those horses. Oh. But make Sounds sure you make sure they come back safe. Uh, we will try our dumbest, if that's anything. Hmm. Uh, guys, is it okay if we take a five-minute break? Um, yeah, sure. sure. I'll sure, go sure. to the pond and wash up. So we're going to take a five minute break, guys. Uh, so stay put, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I can't believe he just made me lose all of my <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah, that was a, in the bag. That's like... I could remake the bag. That's yeah. not the end of the world. <laughs> But you are the, bro. You lost all, all of, of my money. <laughs> well, you can is borrow gone. Me. Well, you can borrow from your mom. <laughs> Was I like ninety gold or something? Uh, Seventy-five gold head. you got from the wizard. Yeah, and then you from your background. Yeah. Okay. Well, I feel uh, slightly responsible be, uh, for bringing the whole thing in the first place about gold. <laughs> I'll be back in about five minutes. We take a five minute break. Great. Yeah, this is your fault. <laughs> oh, no. No, I'm only slightly responsible. I have no hit points, no money. Well, you have hit. Uh, 
Well, I have nine. I have so. nine. <laughs> one. I could be dead in literally one hit. Oh. Just make sure you don't get hit. Easier said than done. <laughs> well, I have Sentinel, so as long as you're not too far behind and not too far back, I can. If I hit someone with an opportunity attack, their movement is zero. So. Mm. I can keep the back line pretty, pretty safe. Let's I can touch so. someone to give them heroism, which is like five temporary hit points every round. So if you're dying, just run to me. <laughs> he heroism. Yeah. I'll just cast, you know, I, I, I already have the increased armor. Yeah, Shield of Faith. And then I, well, I also have Shield of Faith. Yeah. Uh, but no, I increased my armor by plus one. I did not take that spell. I have it. Because I, I have... Yeah, I have two spell slots, too. Yeah, we're doing great. And I want to smite. I have 90 gold. I have, I have no gold. <laughs> I have I have n 91 gold. I had 83. <laughs> and a bag of holding. Also my 91 gold are clean and not stained with blood. Hey, I washed mine off. <laughs> my gold's clean. My copper and my silver, though, they're covered in blue. Anyone want to play Dragon Chess? Play what? Uh, there's a chess of this world. It's Dragon Chess. Sure. Play. Why not? Can we play for money? <laughs> I mean, can you bet? <laughs> Mama? <laughs> I rolled a 20. Oh, I need a gaming set, don't I? Wait, what attribute is uh, the Dragon Chess Intelligence? <clears throat> I'd imagine it would be. Uh, I'm not gonna roll intelligence, I'm gonna roll. <coughs> Fuck is that? What? What are you guys doing? So, My cheating attempt failed horribly. So we're back, guys. <laughs> so what I the guess. hell are you guys doing? What are you We're rolling? playing dragon chess. Playing dragon chess. <laughs> dragon chess. And I am dominating. Oh, okay, there uh, we go. You say that, but hold on, let me get my... <laughs> Who's dominating now, buddy? I just rolled the intelligence. <laughs> so you're like sitting in your rooms and uh, resting. I'm cleaning up. up and I'm cleaning up, and then I'm going to my room. Uh, yeah, while well, you were in the pond. And, yeah, and I'll see as far. As I can from those two guys. No, Jin, sit closer. We're supposed to bond. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. I see darkness. <laughs> Do we get a long rest now? You get a long rest, yes. The change us. 
I'm gonna make another freaking bag of holding. I'm gonna put my mustache back on. <laughs> So you should be able to see, oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna fix that. We're supposed to be fighting dog bears, right? That's the one we're gonna go kill. Yep. Yeah, uh, the noble I have asked you to freed enslaved people. Yes, I'll get fairy fire. Oh, can I change up my spell, spell list? Is that a thing I can do? Uh, I don't think depends can. on how you pre can prepare spells. I think I can. You are the artificer. Let's yeah, see, uh, Artificer, Artificer. No, uh, you're, you're a shift. What the hell? What, hmm? ra uh, what race were you? Again. Changeling. Changeling. Uh, yeah. What class were you? you were... Artificer? Art Artificer, yes. Where the hell are you? Oh, there. 54. See Artificer. Art for table shows I'm in spells as you do, 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 do. You regain also expand the spell slots when you finish a long rest. Do, do, do. And it is just number of artifice spells equal to your intelligence modifier plus half your artificer level rounded down. Uh, you can change your list of prepared spells when you finish a long rest. Okay, that's good. So I will look into my... This looks pretty cool. Uh, you cannot change your druidcraft cantrip, uh, your uh, your cantrips, only your spells. Okay. As a druid. Uh, uh, oh, uh, at, it, that uh, is for everyone. You can only change your real spells. Cantrips are there forever. I don't think I have I have cantrips anyway. I do, but I, I, I like was uh, cause, uh, generally talking about uh, Vin. If he's, did you pick Druidcraft before? Yeah, I have Druidcraft and Frost and Light. I get Light from being in a... Oh yeah, okay. So right now I'm just. Taking seeds out of my pocket and making them bloom. Just. Yes. So, are you guys preparing to head off or are you gonna arrest some more? You can hear, no, you can actually hear people walking around guarding the place. So, so you hear, uh, this place is. seems to be very well guarded. Um, I, I wake everyone, uh, is everyone awake? Like, 
are those two guys away? Um, are you awake? Oh, I say to Okay, good, because we need to move out. If you don't mind, uh, me and uh, Armin will stay here. We're not uh, the adventuring types. We're just yeah, we pilots didn't and expect... crews for ships. Yeah, yeah, we didn't expect you to come that far with us. Thank you for for the ride. Mm. And... Yeah, no sure, problem. Thanks. The ship was paid for, uh, bought and paid for, so it wasn't ours. Did you uh, have insurance on that ship? I knock on the lady's door. Uh, you have to talk about uh, talk that to your employer. Uh, I'll come. Uh, hello, come on in. Okay, excuse me. <clears throat> um. We are. Uh, we're ready. Uh, we can move out. Oh, okay. Are you Are you okay with that? Yeah, we can get going. Oh my. Uh, Where's the druid, by the way? I can't see him on the map. Where am I? He's hiding. Yeah, where are you? You sneaky little thing. Okay. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, there. So, okay. let's eat and move up. Okay. Yeah, the uh, breakfast has been prepared for you. Or food. Okay. Uh, actually, it's like... Uh, uh, since you arrived at midday, it's like... I would say it's lunch. Yeah, I would say it's lunch. Breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Something and... happened. I can't move my character. Okay, I can. You took an extended rest. Instead of eight hours, you slept for like 10, 12 hours. <laughs> That's life. Yeah, well, you guys were exhausted. Okay. So, so you had your fair share of food. Uh, you guys feel you f you guys feel ready for battle. Goody. So let's go see the horses. Uh, the horses have been brought up to you, so they are standing oh. down here, near the okay. entrance. Even better. The gate is not as big, so you have to lead them out. You can, you can actually ride out, but. It's you have to ride slow. Is anyone that doesn't know how to ride a horse? I uh, think you all are <laughs> good enough, but uh... can gnomes ride horses? That's a good question. Mm, yeah, that's a really good question. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't Did think so know? either. Yeah. So, hmm. Well, it's gonna One be of the like an experience. I want to take it's called Arcane Weapon, and I can't take it because it's not in the compendium. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, if, you know, if, if there are any spell, if there are some spells that aren't in the compendium, you have to Google it and uh, uh, just copy paste. Okay. And do it manually. There are several spells that's not in the compendium, and mm. it's. Annoying. We can take a gnome eat. Well, do any of you want to take the gnome? I let him ride in front. Uh, do you want to ride in front or the back of the horse? There are two gnomes. 
Oh dear, two no yeah, two. okay. I uh, believe you will be riding with your mom. Uh, if she can ride a horse. Yeah, she's a dwarf. No, uh, yeah, he's just yeah. Yeah, both gnomes. She's oh. a gnome as well. Oh. Um. Well, um. That's gonna be a problem. Well, I guess you guys have to ride separately. In case you were in, I'll you know. go. I seem to trust Jin, so I'm going to gravitate towards Jin. Yeah. And I think Orza will probably go with um her son. Be like who wants to take me? Oh, her son. Yeah, she'll go with her son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hop on, mama. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you uh, okay, so you guys are just preparing to ride off, and yeah, just lift the yeah. So I'm gonna move you back to horse map, and you were giving directions that uh, the cave is actually just straight down in this direction, about five six miles. Uh, it, it's about five miles to the mountain uh, ridge, and uh, you have to leave the horse at the bottom of the mountain. You have to climb. It's a, uh, it's both upwards and downwards, about another two miles. But you you can get there very fast uh, because you're riding. And. I'm going to get you to a new map. First, I have to. I'm going to put you guys together and copy paste. So bear with me. So what you're gonna, what's happening is that you are gonna find a entrance to the cave, and uh, let's see, gonna move those. And we're gonna take you there. And you can, you kind of get to get to see. Paste. Yeah, you guys are big. Can you guys see the map? No. no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. There you are. You're on the left side of the map. You get to the entrance of the map. Uh, you can see that, like the entrance, and there you hear like a whistle. You're standing outside. You can hear a whistle, and you that's you're just standing there, and you see a kobold coming out, holding a fishing rod and a bucket, and you're just coming out, whistling, happy to you get out of the cave and just freezes and just he's he tilts his head and sees you standing there ah! fucking hell <laughs> strangers don't kill me please please don't kill me don't shout it's okay <laughs> just just Who are shout, you? shout, never mind. And I won't kill you. Uh, I'm, I'm not dangerous. Uh, I'm just a fisherman. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do uh, do as you're told. Like a good fisherman. Uh, of course. Uh, what what are you doing here? Uh, what do you want? I'm, I'm here to liberate people and uh, get a mushroom. Oh, you're after one of the dark mushroom, many dark mushrooms we grow here. Yes. Uh, Wait, yeah. and, and, and I, I pull him close. Like, are you the fisherman that got kidnapped? Uh, no, we're not kidnapped. We're enslaved by nasty black yeah. bears, and they're yeah. and they're two big nasty. Uh, creatures uh, hiding in deeper in the cave. What kind of creatures? They're they're big, and they're nasty. They they hurt us very badly if we don't do what they say. They punish us. They whip us and club us and everything. Okay, we'll take good care of those creatures. Don't worry. Well, we do. I mean, I don't know. Can we just like sneak in and get the mushroom and leave? Say something reassuring or something. Um, yeah, we're definitely strong and can deal with bugbears and hideous creatures. Um, uh, just uh, go around the corner, say that you're okay. And, uh, yeah, we'll be on what our What you should way. do is you should go around and spread the word to your other friends. This is Hick saying this. Um, and l let them know if that if they get a chance, if they see, like, we're coming in, that, like, they should help us if we're getting into a battle They'll, in any way they can. Because then we have a greater chance of defeating these people. Well, of course, but uh, they will get suspicious if I get back. I promise to uh, go out, fish, and uh, bring back food for the bag bears. Say you for said you forgot bait or something. Yeah, you uh, forgot I, to bring I, bait. I, I can't. They saw me leave with bucket and everything. Baits. I, uh, you grabbed they... the wrong bait. Then there's other kinds of bait, right? Isn't there? Just say anything. Mm. You need you're, to let people know. You're an extremely intelligent person. Do go do that. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm gonna try, but uh, they're gonna they're gonna punish me for not doing what they say. Okay, if they're going to punish you, just run our way, and we'll go. We will help you. We will. Yeah. You 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 you're. you're, you're you look like a very kind people, uh, so yes, uh, we do yeah, appreciate we are. your help. And I pull out my great sword. Hmm. Oh, oh, don't use it on me, please. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh. Go ahead. Hmm. He will go back. Uh, oh, uh, also one thing. Uh, 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 we don't have any tortures or anything in here uh, for the moment. No tortures? No, we we are very uh, used to the dark. We we can see both in the dark and uh, in light. So we we know this place. We never use torches. That's only, not only, only only when we get visitors from the drum keep. So that's why it's uh, very dark in here. Wait, bugbears don't have dark vision, right? Uh, these bugbears have adapted, adapted to dark to the darkness. Damn you, Darwin! <laughs> <laughs> also, guys, uh, if it's all right, uh, could we? I know it's early, but this cave is gonna take a while. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. So, is it okay if we end it here? Sure. End the, se end the yeah, session here. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Uh, also, if you guys would like to stay put uh, afterwards, uh, there's something I would like to ask you, all of you, while you're still here. 
off stream, of course. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna shut out the stream. Uh, okay, guys, uh, that's it for today. Uh, we're gonna have an exciting battle next week. So that we're gonna we... fight trolls at I second hope, level. I hope all of you are Please God, gonna. No. Uh, okay. I hope I'll all of you enjoy this. It was uh, just a uh, minor role play. We're gonna have but an you can call battle next time, so the mother of a troll a troll for the next session. No, actually, that's a really good idea. <laughs> so you need something extra spicy. Mm. If calling people trolls is insulting, then what if I called the trolls people? So. I was just thinking. Yeah. I'll see you guys next week. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, do. let me know. And I will also upload it, uh, this video to YouTube. So if you watch this video there, please well, you leave know, a thumbs up or with a cloud comment. Like leave a comment. That's always appreci appreciated. I and uh, yeah. Oh. I have 20. I have See nine. you guys later. And two wild. Thank you for tonight.